sweet Brad's here. Maybe he can help me find out what this is that I got for this Christmas. <laughs> okay, you got this for Christmas, all right. Uh, oh, man, it's the Axe Multi. It's a 25-in-1 multi-tool, okay, and wrench multi-tool. Uh, so I'm going to hold still here for a second. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I haven't either. So you got a file, you got some uh, wrenches, you got a saw, a screwdriver, a knife. Um, you got a hatchet, you got a pipe wrench. Okay, so um, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, instead of tearing it open, I'm going to cut it open with my rusty, trusty little cold steel pocket knife here. The tape like that okay and let's uh let's see well they definitely did a good job of figuring out how to keep it in the box <laughs> and let's pull that out right side up okay um so let's come around here in the sun uh you know um beautiful sun by the way um so we do have a, a multi-wrench uh set that probably attaches onto the little hatchet, the hammer, a pipe wrench. I see a pair of pliers, um, axe, multi-tool, hammer, axe, file, adjustable wrench, pliers, blades, screwdrivers, hexagon wrenches, wire cutters, quarter inch socket drive set, six standard <laughs> sockets, saw, <laughs> bottle opener, scraper, and uh, that's all. I, I don't know. There has, there has to be more than you can do with that. All right. Thing. So let's see what we got here. Uh, keep going on taking it apart. Man, they, uh, they, I bet they spent fifty thousand dollars figuring out how to seal this thing all up. <clears throat> oh, we got, uh, we got a uh, zip tie on there. So we'll cut that. I just take it like this, turn it, and that pops right open. All right, so put the knife back down. You got one more, real quick. Do a oh, how, oh, how to open oh. a zip tie the easy way. How to open the zip tie the easy way. You stick it in there. You get the uh, back of the knife on this side of it and the front of the knife on that side of it, and just go like that. A little bit of pressure instead of trying to cut it. That doesn't work real well, especially on a zip tie that's a little bit, a uh, little bit hefty. Okay, so okay, we have the wrench set here. Um, there's the uh, different ones that there is in there. And, uh, well, that's actually, that's heavy enough to actually be a hammer. All right, so we have uh, a little pipe wrench here. That's pretty cool. That's actually just like a pipe wrench, like that. It's gonna open up there probably an inch, inch and a quarter. It does have some pretty good little teeth on it there, you know, for biting. It's kind of like a, like a crescent wrench. Uh, maybe like a crescent wrench a little bit more than a pipe wrench all right and um, so we got a, a keeper on the handle here and we open this up we do have a pair of pliers okay so we got a, a, a like a sinker smasher up there pair of pliers or you could use that for a pair of pliers then it's got a cutter down here so that would be your wire cutter going in there like that it is spring loaded it does have a knife on it, okay, right there. It's got a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm going to carefully uh, undo the saw blade. Okay, I'm going to move this down a little bit, the saw blade down just a little bit. That's, I think, for getting fish hooks out, okay, out of a fish. So now we have a wrench, a bottle opener, okay, different little uh, wrench nut. Uh, bolt sizes on out to three eighths, I think, something like that. Okay, now we have a serrated edge uh, knife edge right there. We have a bigger, thicker screwdriver here, so that's pretty cool. A file on the back. Um, yep, it's got a file on the back, and actually, that's yeah, that actually works. Uh, that's actually a, a pretty good little file there. Don't know just how it would work on metal, but it works on fingernails. And um, bottle opener, not real sure what the V is. We'd have to investigate there. So we'll put that back. That saw, oh my God, that saw is sharp. That just bites right now. So, you know, for wood, uh, that would probably work pretty good. Little Phillips screwdriver. You got a piece of wood right there too. And, and the knife, yeah, and we might saw on, on the limb there. So let's, uh, 
let's find this piece of paper all right and see what we got for sharp on the blade that's actually sharper than I thought it would be uh, it does need a little help so let's help it a little bit um, we just happen to have sharpens best dot com Brad Buckner 425-444-7505. Don't give your number out. I know. People are going to call you and you're going to be upset. <laughs> well, knock on wood, that's never happened yet. I think we have a pretty good audience out there. They're pretty nice people. So we're just going to run along like this. Not too much pressure. Needs a little tune-up. Doesn't need real sharpening. Just kind of needs a tune-up. Match the bevel on the blade. This one happens to be probably... I'm thinking 12 degrees, uh, maybe a little bit more than 12 degrees, kind of a thick blade, that's okay, they didn't uh, want you to break it and stuff, so come right on out that way, now we're just going to polish the blade a little bit, just like this, real light, flip the knife every pass, every pass, alright, let's see what it's like now. A little bit of wind, but maybe it won't mess with the paper too much. Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay, that's that's definitely sharper. So this is Brad, multi-tool, kind of fun. Hold on, I still want to see a hack and saw oh, and do want... some things. And the, 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 how do those work? Okay, how do those work? Well, those have got to be, let's put the knife away. And... Uh, Let's shake one out of there. Might have to use the pliers to get it out. <laughs> all right. Unless there's something else to it. Nope, that's all it took. I should have been a dentist, you know? I, I, can, I can extract, you know? Chop it down a little bit, get a hold of it. Maybe pull the jaw and teeth out of the way, you know? Um, wow. I really could be a dentist with a tool like that. Brad DDS over here. All right, and um, so let's see what, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. Like did it just come with them as a well, side feature? Or is you it, know, it might be. Like bonus? Kind of a bonus, I don't see, no. Okay, you know, for a, a video uh, tomorrow maybe, oh. or later today. Uh, okay, we do have a hatchet. It's a little hatchet, and we're going to put the little pipe wrench, crescent wrench type wrench away. All right, just like that. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> now, what made me think? Why would you even have done why that? Why would I even think that that comes off of there? Would you look at this? <laughs> Inquiring minds that's want to know. Interesting. Okay, so that's where your sockets go. I'm really excited about this. Okay, and that's that's lots of leverage. That's good. Okay, that's really cool. And um, oh, there's a magnet up in there, and so that helps hold the hammerhead on. Okay, that's cool. You know. All right. So yeah, it's just like okay, does this do anything? All right. So that's cool. That's where the sockets go. That's really cool. All right, so let's put this back, put the hammerhead back on. And uh, no, it's not a shark. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look. Oh my, that's pretty thick. Um, but, uh, you know, if you were chopping walnuts and stuff, uh, that would probably work. It's, it actually bites the skin a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's, uh, I guess, just chop on, on one of these little limb sticking out here and uh don't I'm, chop your knee off yeah i'm gonna chop my knee off you know don't chop towards yourself just like that you know that's a lot sharper than i thought it was um i'm actually pleasantly surprised and that's enough of a mess there probably but let's go ahead and take that on out like that and uh, just, just curious i hear that dangle that dangle is that the hammer piece would you no it's not no that's okay. probably the uh that's the little wrench okay and um so if you tighten that down it'll come loose but 
okay. not too bad. So let's see if that, like Kevin holds still, you can kind of zoom in, get close, whatever. You can see it's pretty thick. Uh, it's actually quite substantial. I did chop on the wood with it. It did cut the wood pretty good. So let's see. Okay. That's not too wow. bad on that paper. That really isn't. Uh, you know, if you had a little four-inch grinder, a little belt sander, or something like that, you could take it down a little bit. But that actually works pretty good in a pinch. That would uh, that would do okay. I use that little saw real quick. Uh, okay, the saw. You want to see the TV? The, the saw, TV the saw, is the so saw. Bad. saw. Okay, that would be this one right here. And actually, those teeth are really sharp on that saw. So let's do that. And let's do this. Okay, now actually that's that's not too bad. It, it's doing what I thought it would do. You have to you don't push very hard on it. It wouldn't take too long to cut that little limb off. That limb is inch and seven eighths in diameter. It's a little hard to hang on to. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just do it this way. Now, I'm, I'm a little surprised it saws that deep down in there because I don't think the saw blade has any kerf on the teeth. And if it doesn't, it's binding up just like I thought it would. If the teeth are as thick as, as the back of the saw blade is, it's going to bind up in there. The teeth need to be just a tiny bit offset. But you could go around... You know, you could do this, you could go around uh, and just keep working on it and you would saw that blade, that uh, limb off and it wouldn't take too awful long to do that. And I'm not going to get down in there too awful far. I do not want to pop through that limb and snag my pants because those teeth are actually quite sharp. Let's see over here. It's actually sawing better than I thought it would. That's for sure. I can hear it changing. You know, it's actually a really clean cut. This is Brad. That's kind of fun. Kind of a mess. That's all right. Um, yep, Cabo here. You, you, you have that. Okay. There you go. And the Cabo Meister runs off with the evidence. This is Brad. This is fun. Um, it's a protocol uh, is the name of it. It's uh, 25 tools in one. And um, Chance got it for Christmas. I'm really excited about so that. I think that's oh. going to be a pretty good deal. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> All right. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Two goofy guys in a camera. We'll talk to you later.